One of the things that keeps coming up in this uh, discussion has been this Southwest Airlines outage and uh, the fact that literally thousands of people were stranded over several days without any idea of what was going to happen next. Um, for me, one of my constituents that seemed to be most prominent was a high school uh, basketball coach and his wife and the kids, and they were down in Vegas at a tournament, and they literally, for four days, right around Christmas, had to figure out what to do next. And so every day was a challenge. They felt like they had it pretty good, because they actually went and had a place and had all the kids there, and they celebrated Christmas together, so it turned out to be a bonding experience for them. But several times they went back to the airport to find many other people just sleeping on the floor of the airport, trying to figure out what was going to happen next. So in the hearing that we had on the NOTAM issue, um, one of the things that the Southwest pilots brought up is they thought that Southwest had lost operational control. That meant that the operation of what was the airline's flights, their, where the pilots were, where the pilots uh, needed to be, they basically did not know. And one of the things that the FAA administrator, if if confirmed, can take action against enforcement of the fact that um, they did not have, uh, they had loss of control. So what I'm interested in knowing, I think everybody in this hearing is kind of, you're getting a drift here that nobody wants an industry person who's too cozy with industry. People want a new day at the FAA, and they want the FAA to make sure they're thinking about consumers, and as you mentioned several times, safety. So if confirmed, would you make sure that you took aggressive action on making sure that either fines or their certificates, things of that nature, were looked at? In, uh, in this case, what we're trying to do is get Southwest to own up to the fact that they need to fix this system so that it doesn't happen again. So would you be aggressive on this issue? Yes, I would, Senator. Okay, thank you. Um, that concludes our hearing today. Um, we. Senators will have to close of business March 6th to submit questions for the record. The witnesses will have to the close of business March 13th to respond. And that concludes our hearing.